Good morning. It is Thursday, April the 2nd. This morning's call to prayer comes to us from Psalm 95. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. The request for presence today comes from Psalm 90. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. The greeting this morning comes from Psalm 18, verse 2. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge, you are worthy of praise. The refrain from the morning lessons comes from Psalm 101, point, uh, verse 6. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. This morning's reading is from John 2. When the time of the Jewish Passover was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and doves, and the money changers sitting there. Making a whip out of cord, he drove them all out of the temple, sheep and cattle as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the dove sellers, Take all this out of here, and stop using my father's house as a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture, I am eaten up with zeal for your house. The Jewish leaders intervened and said, What sign can you show us that you should act like this? Jesus answered, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The leaders replied, It has taken 46 years to build this temple. Are you going to raise it up again in three days? But he was speaking of the temple that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scriptures and what he had said. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. This morning's psalm comes from Psalm 7. Awake, O my God. Decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High. O Lord, judge the nations. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield and defense. He is the Savior of the true in heart. God is a righteous judge. God sits in judgment every day. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. The cry of the church this morning, O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for the week. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give me this bread, that he may live in me, and I in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now for the concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. God bless you now and always.